The new mafia, that is the name of the gang of students. Parents fear is responsible for the shooting death of a Shawnee Mission North High School student. A group of students parents want out of the district. Lisa Benson spoke to some parents tonight. She has more on the story now, Lisa. Well, the parents I spoke to say this group of students is scaring other students, and they don't believe the district is doing enough to stop it. Three days after Shawnee Mission North student Ryder Spillman was shot to death outside of an elementary school, parents remain gravely concerned. Even though it didn't happen at the school, it could happen at our school, obviously. The concerns are that there are gangs in the school. Um, I've heard that they're called the new mafia. Mary wanted us to conceal her identity, but is worried about her daughter, who was a junior at Shawnee Mission East High School. Mary says her daughter told her about a gun threat at the school two weeks before the homicide. When we talked about the gun being in school, my whole talk to her was, you, you don't need to worry. You know, the school will take care of you. And now, since this happened, I ask, is the school really taking care of our kids? The two alleged gunmen, cousins, 17-year-old Shane Reed and 16-year-old Stephen Reed, are both students at Shawnee Mission East. Teresa Reed is Stephen's mother. It's words. I guess Ropo has a problem with supposedly the new mafia. Teresa says the two rival groups would often meet at skate parks in the area and fight. They pulled uh, a 9 millimeter up at Prairie Village Skate Park. So they were in fear of their life. A deadly encounter that did not take place inside of a school. But Shawnee Mission parents are concerned that district leaders are not aware of what is going on in their hallways. Now we talked to a district spokesperson today who said the shooting over the weekend was not a school-related incident. And while they value the support of the police department in their schools, they do not have a gang problem. In the newsroom, Lisa Benson, NBC Action News.